How do you photograph your Jordan collection like it came from the Nike app catalog itself? So what are the things that you will need to take pictures of your sneakers? Well, first and foremost, you will need your sneakers. And uh, shout out and thank you to JL for lending me this one. I don't have a single Jordan sneaker in my uh, shoe rack. And then you will, to give that uh, catalog look, you will also need a plain white background. Now, what you see here is a studio paper background, okay? And it's white because usually white is the preferred background color for e-commerce sites like Amazon and even in the Nike app. And uh, shout out to Fazil and thank you for gifting me this one. So see, I have plenty of friends. So what to do if you don't have a friend like Fazil or you don't have a paper background like this? Well, you can go to your nearest art supply store and get a poster size paper or even an A1 size paper and uh, preferably it's white because there are other colors like pink, green, blue. White is the uh, uh, better option. And just tape it on a table with the upper end of the paper taped against the wall. For this setup, I have this is a long roll. So uh, I have it uh, set, supported by a studio background support with a crossbar. Now, as far as the light source, that we're going to use, I'm going to use this Underwear Studio Lighting. This is not Studio Flash. This is just a continuous light source. So basically, there are four sockets here which you can mount for regular household bulbs, which you can get from any hardware store. If you're doing this on a regular basis, I would recommend you just get one of these set, a set of these, because it looks more uh, presentable and at the same time it's uh, easier to use than or to set up rather than getting your drop lights from your kitchen or study lamp or desk lamp and placing it somewhere in the set so it will be easier to set up and manage though I tell you any light source will do for this lighting setup that we're going to do and we're not going to uh, take pictures with an SLR or a mirrorless camera we're going to take pictures using my mobile to show you that this lighting setup works regardless what camera you are using. So I'll just assemble the setup first. So this is how the Underwear Studio lighting looks like when fully set up. As I mentioned, you don't have to have this. You can make use of your dining room's drop lights or your study lamp or desk lamp as long as you can suspend the light directly above the sneakers. Another thing to consider is the quality of your lighting. And your lighting must be soft or diffused. That's the reason why we have a soft box attached to the underwear lighting unit to soften or to diffuse the light. I am not going to illuminate the sneakers with light straight from the light bulb because light straight from the light bulb is harsh and produces hard shadows and it these shadows could even hide the important details, fine details of your sneakers. You want everything to be clear, yet at the same time, preserve the form and texture of your shoe. This is how the diffuser looks like. And this is the one that softens the light before it reaches the sneakers. If you don't have a softbox, what can you do? How can you diffuse it? Get a white fabric and stretch it directly above the setup. And let your LED lamp or drop lights shine directly through the fabric. And the fabric suspended above your shoe will soften the light before it reaches the sneakers. And that will produce a soft lighting on the shoe itself. So when you're going to shoot your sneakers now with let's say your phone, okay, any phone will do actually, please make sure that when you photograph the shoe, you must be at level with the product, right? Do not go too high because that will make your shoe look more small, okay? And it will not show the design 
on the shoe itself unless you're trying to emphasize the top part obviously of the footwear so I'm going to shoot now so do we really need to have this type of setup why not just make use of natural light well this is how it looks like when I took a shot of the sneakers using the light coming from my window and this is how the, your shot will look like when you use your phone's flash in taking a photo and obviously the one taken with this setup looks a lot better so if you want to produce that Nike app or e-commerce style look on your sneaker collection then number one use a white background or a white paper number two suspend the light directly above the subject and number three soften the light source using a fabric and number four go low when you shoot at level with your shoe so if you like this tip please click like subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll get updated with my upcoming video tutorials and more tutorials like this so this is Jay Alonso from learnfromjaya.com mabuhay po tayong lahat